Okay, we're starting to see a few more hints as to the bigger picture. Now, up until this point, it's mostly been everything we've exper um, exposed to has been a sort of... Um, in regards to the war that's been going on, uh, the Queen of Alexandria going and having sort of... Oh, you don't have mail. Huh. I probably should have delivered these letters a long time ago. Queen, Queen Braun, or whatever the hell her name is, going and having these sort of militaristic conquests of the other countries around there. And obviously it was didn't have any really bigger picture in mind beyond that. She was just sort of wanting to gain more and more power, and that's why she did the got the idolins and all that kind of crap because she wanted to just strengthen her own position it was just a power grab and she was dealing with this kuja fellow who well his um origins and all that were a little uh, more obscure but now we're starting to see the larger picture now obviously the game uh, storyline couldn't have been wrapped up in the first two discs of a four disc game and that's basically what it seemed like at the end of disc two and then the story calmed down a bit at the beginning of disc three now we're starting to ramp up into sort of the main threat and that is something I kind of do like about this story is it kind of set the queen up as kind of a a little bit of a red herring I think like, oh, she's the big bad. I mean, they gave hints that that wasn't really the case. They introduced Kuja at the end of disc one. And they sort of give hints that he's up to something much bigger and worse than what she was doing. But now we're, uh, well, let's get into it. Well, maybe just this one anymore. the hell did you get here? Last time we saw Quinna, it was in Trino. That's weird. Oh, whatever. Alright. That is something we did see while we... Oh, you won't let me out there? Something we did see, though, while we're out there is... No, no, wait, never mind. <laughs> What I choose. Controls are all messed up, the analog's not working properly. So Don is turning on like an eight axis, uh. Oh, geez. Okay, maybe I didn't go the way I expected to. It's 
snazzy. Shit just lowers down into the meeting room. Look at that shit. <laughs> Even scared eco. Gotta watch this one.
Well, a couple of uh, things happened there. We hear that Kuja has, well, he has one of the original mistless airships in his possession. That's what he's using to move around. Although he has lost control of the Invincible, the big, powerful eye in the sky, which destroyed the Summoner's homeland. Turns out that's actually an airship as well. He's lost that to Garland, but he has the Hildegard at his command there and he also has a number of black mages and not like the mindless black mages that we had run into all the time he actually has the speaking black mages ones that you would have to assume were from the black mage village that we ran into back in disc two why they would be on his side though that's a mystery there also dagger has gone and well she's lost her voice now, you'd have to assume it was some sort of reaction to, like, PTSD or something like that. Because her homeland has been destroyed, or Alexandria has been destroyed. While she did summon um, Alexander, and Alexander defeated Bahumet, and Bahum and Alexander wasn't captured under the control of Kuja, the Invincible still followed through and destroyed the city of Alexandria anyway. A lot of people died, and it appears as though Garland did this for no more than to kill everybody that was there. He said something about reclaiming souls or gathering souls or something like that. So she's sort of blaming herself, or she thought about maybe blaming Eco for a minute for summoning Alexander, though she couldn't do that. And then she's maybe blaming herself for for the whole decision. But, I mean, even if they hadn't summoned Alexander, Bahamut would have destroyed the city anyway. I mean, Kuja, wasn't, Kuja may have been stopped, but his plan was to wreck the city, apparently. So, well, at this point, all four of the... Uh, four, four, what were the four? I can only think of three. Three major civilizations on this continent have been wiped out of commission. Well, I mean, Lindblom is probably doing the best out of the group because it was in the process of rebuilding. Bermica was wrecked. Oh, Clara. Clara was the other one. Clara was... Bermica was sacked. Clara was destroyed. Alexandria appears to have been destroyed. We haven't seen it yet. And Lindblom was... was... was, uh, sieged. So... Uh, the... Apparently, it was Kuja's plan to attack all of the major civilizations. And he appears to have succeeded, even if his plans were set back by this Garland fellow. Well, can't wait to see where this goes. 